So this video is gonna be a little different because this is more of a vlog style of what it's like to be a commercial drone pilot and shoot some of these TV shows that I've been shooting. It's early morning, we had an early morning call and a bit of drive to get to the first location, but you're gonna come along on the journey and find out what it's like to be a commercial drone pilot and do some of the shoots, some of the things that I've been getting to do for the last month and a half, two months. It seems like it's been a while. But yeah, let's get packed up and we'll get going. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of like how I travel with all of this drone gear, including a lot of LiPo batteries. Um, yeah, I can put a video together about that. If you're curious about how to travel with a bunch of drone gear, a bunch of photography gear, and yeah, all right. Got some more stuff to pack. Inspire, Inspire stuff, batteries for the Inspire, Komodo FPV drone. So this is location one, a railway yard. Well, actually it's mostly a bunch of train tracks going through five different railroad bridges in the same area. So we're gonna shoot with the Inspire and then I think we're gonna relocate to another place and I'll shoot some with the FPV drone. And uh, yeah, they get a couple of hundred, like up to 200 trains through this section right here a day, which is insane. <laughs> And now we uh, FPV and uh, waiting for a train to come by that I can chase with the FPV drone. And thankfully, this is all legal because we're here with the railroad company and we've got everything lined up. And this is location number three, which is a golf course, and we're actually filming some people golfing. Uh, I have no idea what the significance of this is as far as the show goes, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna start setting up the Inspire. Colin, uh, the gentleman who's with me, is over making introductions and kind of figuring out where we're supposed to be filming while I get the Inspire set up. And this is definitely gonna be a spot where we use the Komodo FPV drone because it's, you know, big wide open space, get lots of speed, just some nice, nice shots of the golf course and hopefully some people like golfing. I really want to chase a golf ball with the FPV drone. Like really, really want to. That's done. Didn't get to chase a golf ball, but it was fun to rip around the golf course with the big FPV drone. Now we're headed to location four, 
Hard to keep track, but yeah, location four. Maybe time for coffee in the meantime? I'm hoping. Oh good, it's raining. This will be really good for droning. And I think there's supposed to be thunderstorms coming too, so... Perfect. So this is location four, which is a protected nature preserve, which we have permission to be here for. Um, we've got a guide showing us around, but this canyon is really cool. It goes like hundreds of feet, I don't know, a thousand, maybe 2,000 feet till the highway's up there. And then right here, there's a waterfall normally. And behind me back there is a footbridge. Um, just a really cool spot. Fun to fly a PV through. Now time to charge some batteries up, get ready to do it all again tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you like this kind of video, more of the vlog style video, because it's different from what I've done for a while, quite a while on my channel. Um, as always, you can join my live stream Wednesday nights, 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Most of the times it happens, sometimes I can't because of my travel schedule, but I do try and do that every week. I will see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.